Continuing now with this explosive Times Now investigation, the web of deceit exposed right here on your channel. Part 5 of our investigation reveals the mining scam trail, the full Hawala trail from India to Indonesia to Dubai and back home. We have Mega giving us more details on this. Mega, what has emerged? How was the entire transaction operated? And what is this Hawala trail that is now clear? Well, what we do have, uh, in fact, with us is uh, the detailed report of the Income Tax Department, uh, which was handed over to both the Enforcement Directorate as well as the CBI. The Enforcement Directorate, of course, took up the investigation right after that. The CBI is yet to uh, move in this uh, pretty seriously. At this moment, of course, they are on the fringes uh, in, in terms of investigation. But yes, the Enforcement Directorate has been uh, working a lot on the, the detailed investigation that had already been done by the Income Tax Department. Department. It was that department first that had exposed the entire link and according to the investigation done by the investigating wing of the Income Tax Department in Ranchi, in Mumbai, in Delhi, in Pune, uh, what we have been told and of course the papers that we have accessed clearly shows uh, the entire web of Madhu Koda. Now Mr. Madhu Koda has invested his ill-gotten money, his black money not only in different mines in different countries uh, across the world but in other sectors like uh, in the real estate, like in the media, uh, in, in the entertainment industry. He has, in fact, there has been a lot other places where he has invest, invested his money. The uh, the ones that we are talking about at this moment, the one, the entire link that we have been in the position to establish is, of course, the link of the Hawala money that was rooted right out of Ranchi, that is Jharkhand, to Dubai through the Hawala means. From Dubai, it was shown as the income of certain properties which was brought bought by his henchmen including Binod Sena, including Sanjay Chaudhary, including Dhananjay Chaudhary, including Anil Bastavre. These were the people who actually acted as his front. Also the people who helped him get the black money out of India from Dubai, that is United Arab Emirates. All these money was then routed to different parts of the country. A part of it, uh, according to the papers that we have accessed, uh, which uh, we can in fact show as the direct link from Ranchi to uh, Dubai to to Indonesia was of course the link through uh, Sanjay Chaudhary and Anil Bastavre. Now the, uh, the, Hawala, the money of Mr. Madhu Koda through the Hawala channels of, after reaching Dubai was shown as the income of certain companies in which the joint owners were uh, Sanjay Chaudhary, Dhananjay Chaudhary and Anil Bastavre. That money was then routed to Indonesia to buy certain mines. The coal from which mines was uh, again exported to companies back in Mumbai which was again owned by Manoj Puna and his associates of Mr. Kora. So that is the entire link that we have been able to establish through the appraisal report and the assessment report of the income tax department of Mr. Madhu Kora and of Manoj Punamya and of Anil Bastavre that we have accessed with us. Right, now Mega stay on with us. Let's get Aishwarya in on this. He's uh, in Ranchi and of course he's been keeping an eye on proceedings there as uh, the investigation and interrogation of Anil Bastavre continues. He is in ED custody now. What is the latest information that has come up as a result of his interrogation, uh, Aishwarya? And uh, what, what has he added to these links, you know, that we've been talking about, these various links in this entire transaction of uh, moving money through the Hawala route from India to various countries abroad? Well, that's right. After the first day of the ED custody of the main man, Anil Adinath Bastavde, and after all of this information which has just come in through Megha, Poonam and Vivek, one thing which is very clear that this man, Anil, Anil Adinath Bastavde, is one of the main men who is responsible for siphoning the scam money out of India, converting it from white to black, and that is why ED seems to be really interested in a face-to-face -face interrogation between Anil Adinath Bastavde and and the fellow co-accused who are already behind bars, including that of the Jharkhand Chief Minister, the former Jharkhand Chief Minister Madhu Kora. And that is why ED has a lot of hopes pinned down on the information which comes out of Anil Adinath Bastavde because ED feels that he exactly knows how, whose and where has that scam money been invested. Thus, they are looking for, sub for, uh, for certain specific substantial evidence which would really help them to pin down not only Madhu Kora but numerous other leaders who have been on their radar but just due to lack of evidence because they have been telling us for a long time that 
that basically all of these fellow accused, whether it's the former chief minister or Vinod Sinha, they have not been cooperating to the level they should have been. Thus, ED as of now has all hopes pinned on Anil Adinath Bastavre because they feel he is the man who knows it all and when there will be a face-to-face -face confrontation, a face-to-face -face interrogation between him and Madhu Kora, a lot of information which, which will be really important in this 4,000 crore mining scam will come out.